Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my first video in English. My name is Beto and in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can implement this beautiful bottom sheet in your application. You have probably seen this uh, bottom sheet style in applications like App Store. Here you can see this screenshot that I just took from my iPhone. Notice that when we are going to pay for an application, we open this little bottom sheet, but it, it doesn't open all the way to the top. It just open like a uh, third of the screen. So here we have this button, get, and when we press it, opens the bottom sheet and we can put whatever we want inside the bottom sheet. I have this button that when you press it, it sends you an alert that says thanks for your purchase. And basically that's it. Let's begin. Let's start by opening our terminal. Go to the folder where you want your project to be. And I'm going to start a new Expo application. So we run the command Expo in it. I'm going to name it React Native Bottom Sheet Tutorial. And for this tutorial, we are going to use TypeScript. So make sure to choose TypeScript down here in the options. And now we just have to wait until the packages are uh, finished installed. Once your project is ready, access the folder you just create by typing cd and the name of the folder. Finally, run code. Dot. This will open a peaceful code window. Once you are in Visual Studio, open your terminal window and run the following command to install the bottom sheet. We are also going to need two more packages from Expo. I'm going to leave these commands down below in the description so you don't have to type it manually. You just can copy it and then run the, the command expo install react native reanimated and finally expo install react native gesture handler those are all the dependencies that we need for this project but we need to make some extra configuration after we install the dependencies so go to the babel.config file and after presets paste the following line that is plugins react reanimated plugin save that and you have to restart your server if you already, if you have it running now. For me, I'm just going to run the command expo start to start my application. And here we can press I to open on iOS simulator. And after I press I, you can see on my simulator, it's open my application already. And now we can start working. First, we are going to create a folder called called source and inside this folder we're going to make another folder for our components and now we can open our app file and start by importing bottom sheet as well as by the way i'm going to link the documentation of this package in the description so you can check out uh, all the features that this package has for this tutorial we are going to use the bottom sheet view component so after our import bottom sheet, we are also import bottom sheet view from our package bottom sheet. All right. Now we need to import some hooks from React that we are going to need to make possible the functionality of this bottom sheet. So let's start by importing React, use callback, use ref, as well as use state from React. And down here in our app function, Let's start by, by declaring a variable that is going to keep track of the reference of the bottom sheet. And here I was missing a T in my bottom sheet import. So make sure you have it right. After we uh, set our sheet ref, we are going to need another variable to keep track and to know if our bottom sheet is closed or open. So here we have is open and set is open equal to user state and let's put the default value to true. Now another cool thing about this bottom sheet is that it allows us to specify an array of values or percentage that it's going to tell the bottom sheet what part or how much of the screen do we want to take when we open the bottom sheet. So we can say 0, 50, and 100%. That means that the snap points or our bottom sheet, it can be drag and drop from 0 to 60 to 100%, for example. But in this example, we just want the bottom sheet to take 40%, no more, no less. So we can put the snap point to 40%. 
Now that we have the reference and the snap points, we can return our bottom sheet and inside our bottom sheet component, we can specify what, what we want inside that bottom sheet. So we can put our bottom sheet view and inside that bottom sheet view, we can put whatever we want inside that bottom sheet. So for now, I'm going to put a hello and check that the bottom sheet, it's, it's yelling at me because I haven't set the snap points and that's why we declare it above. So inside the bottom sheet, we are going to set the property ref equal to sheet ref. After the ref, we are going to set the snap points equal to the variable snap points that we declare above as well. So again, we are saying with the snap points that we just want to take 40% of the screen. So if I save now, let me change the background color so we can see the bottom sheet. We can see that our bottom sheet is taking 40% and no more, no less. Even if we drag and drop, it won't allow us to move it. Now we can add another property called enable pan down to close and we are going to set it to true. That means that when we drag down the bottom sheet, it's going to close. And for now, we don't have a way to put it back to open. So I have to restart the application. And you can see now it's again open. And let's go back to the snap points again. If we change the snap points to 90, 60, you can see that the bottom sheet takes only whatever is in the snap points. And if we put an array of 10, 50, and 90, we can play with those values, dragging and dropping the bottom sheet, as you can see now. So it's a pretty cool functionality. I really like this uh, package, this bottom sheet package. It's super complete and useful. And you can play with the values and, and do whatever you need or meet the needs of your application easily. So let's put it back to 40% and, and let's add an on close property. And this is what's going to happen when we close the, the bottom sheet. We are going to set the, the value is open to false. Before we continue, I'm going to create another component that is going to contain the content of my bottom sheet. I'm going to go to my components and click right click new file and I'm going to name it applepay.tsx. Here I'm just going to paste a component that I already have and simply it's an image and some text so it's no big deal and inside of our bottom sheet component we can now just call our component Apple Pay. and if we hit save I'm going to get this error because I haven't drag and drop my images so if I, if I copy my images, you can see now that my uh, bottom sheet looks super cool. And as I told you, it's no big deal, just text and images here. So you can play with your design and do whatever you want. You can also check this component in GitHub. I'm going to put the link in the description. Okay, now that we have our bottom sheet looking good, I'm just going to change this text for a text that I already have and I'm going to paste some style down here. And I'm going to import image as well as save area view. Okay, now I'm going to change the main view for a safe area view because as you can see, the date of my view, it's looking ugly, but after the safe area view, it's applied, it's looking good and fresh. Okay, as you can see here in my image component, I have a conditional set that it's going to change the opacity of the image if the bottom sheet is open. If it's open, it's going to take 0.2 opacity. And if it's closed, it's going to take one of opacity which means it's going to look the same or normal and if i close the bottom sheet it's you can see that it's working the style is changing now we need a button to be able to 
open the bottom sheet again so I'm going to paste this touchable opacity and I'm going to import it up here touchable opacity from react native and here we just need to create a function that it's going to handle the snap press so here we're going to declare a function called handle snap press and it's going to use a use callback hook from react which basically is going to return us the memorized value of our snap point. You don't have to use a callback if you don't want, but it's good practice to have it. So this function is going to take the index which we want to put our bottom sheet. In this case, it's going to be the index zero, that is 40%. So we access to the sheet ref.current and access to the property snap to index and here we just need to to put the index which we want to move or set our bottom sheet so we're just going to pass the index that we are receiving as parameter and after that we just set the variable is open to true because it was closed right this is going to open the bottom sheet so we need to set the variable to true. And after that, we are going to close our function. And if we save, we can see that it's working. And if we close and if we press the button get, it's opening and closing. Now that we have this functionality, we can play with the background color, for example. Here we only are, here we are only changing the the opacity of the image but if we go to the safe area view in our main style or style container we can put that in an array and add a conditional as we did in our image and we are going to set the background color if it is open if the bottom sheet is open to black for example and if it is closed we are going to set it back to white so it's going to be F, F, F. and if I hit save now we can try that and you can see that the background is changing when the bottom sheet is open you can play with these values with the opacity of the color I'm going to put like 80 or 90 as you can see it's looking better and pretty much that's it for the video of today guys that's all that I wanted to show you I hope you like the video, I hope you learned something and I hope you can understand my English. I know that is not perfect and I'm trying to improve it. Uh, so let me know in the comments what, what do you think and if you have any questions I'm going to leave all the resources for this project in the description below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!